Hey, beautiful people, beautiful, beautiful people. Good afternoon. It has been a while since I've done any one of these videos. Lord my heart, well on. Um, yeah. It's choked up a bit. Yes, so. Yeah, what am I saying? It has been a while since I've done any of these little motivational videos, you know? So, let me start by saying thanks be to God that, you know, um, I live to see another day, um, you know, and uh, if the Lord blesses me with many more, um, you know, I hope that I become a better and better person to him and to those who I encounter daily. So I'm giving God thanks. I'm giving him praise. You know what I'm saying? And so he's the best all the time. He's the greatest all the time. All the time. He's the best all the time. He is the greatest. Now, I wish for you um, a wonderful Easter, a very happy Easter, a safe Easter, prosperous Easter, holy Easter, one that is not only reflective, but one that is very progressive, one that is prosperous, one that, you know, allows you to put a lot of things into perspective and uh, so that you're able to think on a lot of things in terms of how it is that you're going to make your life or lives better how it is that you will assist in making somebody else life or lives better you know what I mean because we're all about growth and development especially for 2017 and beyond yesterday is gone today is here tomorrow is not promised so if you live through the Easter and I'm not trying to be morbid but I'm just saying you know I'm um, trying to be a little reflective and think on how God has been good to you because you're here you're alive you're well even if you may not be feeling well at this point in time you're here you're alive once there is life there is hope when I dead you know call it dopey okay so there are many many possibilities for you out there you have to do it every day you have to be purposeful you have to be purposeful determined in a good way and uh, decide to yourself that okay in spite of whatever it is that i've been through in spite of the challenges that i may be facing i am going to be a better individual remember we're replacing bad habits with good ones it's not easy because there are times that we will slip there are times we will fall but the bible says a righteous man falleth seven times gets back up again so i'm encouraging you go to church and do some introspection retrospection if you want um to see where you're at to see if it is that you're comfortable with where you're at and uh, you know because there's always some room for growth always always remember that that's that's what really what humility is about you know recognizing who you are recognizing where you are recognizing where you want to be recognizing that you don't need to step on anybody to get where you want to be but it, that you're going to move in, in a in a very pleasing manner, in a very peaceful manner, in a very determined manner, in a very hardworking manner to get your goals and to get your dreams. But you have to be very purposeful. You have to be determined and you have to work hard for whatever it is that you want. All right. So for this Easter, um, go to church. Good Friday, go to church on Sunday. I don't know for those who go to church on Saturday, go. You know and do some reflection look and look look within yourself and see where you're at and say lord i see these things in me and um you know there's some things that i want to change and there's some things that i want to accomplish there's some things that i want to get so i'm encouraging you to use this easter moment to do that kind of reflection do that kind of introspection where you see where you're at see where it is that you want to be because i'm sure that wherever you are now you would want to be somewhere even greater somewhere even better you know what i mean um so do some kind of uh reflection you know and put it before god and say lord i i'm at this place this is where i want to be show me the steps and he will you know because he speaks through dreams he speaks through visions he speaks through our circumstances sometimes you go through life and you see some things and you say oh this is what God is trying to say to me this is what God is you know kind of putting that unction inside of me you know but it is a time of reflection but not just reflecting for reflection's sake it is about reflection 
because you want some positive changes, reflection because you want to make your life better. You know, you want to live a better life. If you feel comfortable where you are, maybe that is what you call the best life yet. You know, I'm not at my best me now. So I know that there is a lot of uh, work, you know, I'm a work in progress, you know, and I'm grateful for that. I'm happy for me. I, I, I appreciate me because I know I'm a work in progress and I know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And I know that, you know, once there is life, there is hope. So once I have that life, I will see the pruning and I will see a better me every single day. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be perfect. You know what I mean? There are days you're going to just say the wrong things. There are days your emotions are just going to fly off the handle. There are days you're just going to feel low, you're going to feel sad. But you know what? In spite of all the different challenges that each of us may face, there should come a time when we do some introspection. Because you will see, once it is that you get to that point of doing some introspection, you will say to yourself, all right, this is what has happened and this is what I don't want to happen again. And for the things that I can change, with God's help, I will change or try to make better as much as I'm able to. Hi, Tanisha, how are you? You know, so that's what the introspection will do. Once you've gotten to that point, then you will know exactly which other uh, area you need to get to, which other point you need to get to, which other mark you need to get to, which other thing you may need to achieve. All right. But some introspection, you know, should come into play because it's important. It's important for your growth. It's important for your development. It's important for my growth and my development, you know. So I'm encouraging you um, that when you go to church Friday, Saturday or Sunday, as the case may be, that, you know, you just ask God to allow you to do some introspection. See where you're at. See what it is that you want to accomplish. Sometimes, you know, people, you can have your vision wall. Write down the things that you want to change. Write down the things that you want to accomplish. It is not impossible. I don't care if you have only an high, a, a high school education. I don't care if you have only one CXC subject. I don't care if you got all C's or all 3's. I don't know, you know, whatever the scores may be. I don't care if, if you have a first degree or a master's or whatever. You just get the bare minimum. It matters not. What matters is where you want to go, where you want to be, what it is that you want to accomplish. Yesterday is gone. It has already passed. Whatever it is that you had got before, what it is that you want for tomorrow once tomorrow, if tomorrow comes to you. You follow? So I'm encouraging all of us to do some reflection, do some introspection, and as best as you're able to, lessen the regrets. You know, lessen the regrets is the worst thing when you, you know, and sometimes you're speaking to older persons and uh, they are talking, you know, and they say, boy, I'm so sorry I didn't do this. I'm so s And you see that kind of hurt. You see that kind of pain within them because they didn't get to accomplish what it is that they were designed to accomplish. They didn't achieve what it is that they were designed to achieve because they allowed life's boxers to box them to and fro box them all over the place you know and to just box them flat on their faces and they chose not to get up and fight again if it is another day it's another dollar it's another fight and you fight and you push and you press towards a mark press towards a goal the dream that you want even if all is against you there is a father up above who is with you. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. And he knows your heart's desires. He knows your pains. He knows your struggles. He knows your challenges. I don't know it. Neither does the next door neighbor. We may have an idea to what you may go through in some sense. But if it is that you want to see the best you now, then introspection needs to be a part of the play. The play, the, the way how your life, the movie of your life, you know, and you're the playwright, but you have to, you can determine how you want the story to end. It's not just a cliche. 
it's a jargon that we hear maybe every day, every other day, every now and again. But it is a truth. You are the playwright of your own movie, of your own plays. And you have to make that concerted effort. You have to make that decision within how it is that you want your life to pan out. How it is that you want your life to be. No one can do it for you, you know. Wives, not your husbands can't do it. Husbands, your wives can't do it. Mothers and fathers, your children can't do it. Your sisters, your brothers, your nieces, your nephews, your, nephews, your friends, your families, they can't do it. You are the only one who can do it. You're the playwright. So you have to make that decision how it is that you want your life to be. If you do some introspection as I speak right now, think about your life. If you close your eyes and think about all the things that you have done, all the things that have happened to you, then you can decide, okay, I've plateaued and I've reached where I wanted. I've accomplished them. Kudos to you. Big up to you. I know I'm not there as yet. I don't even begin to reach where I want to reach. I have not begun. I should be, I, you know, even if you don't become a world changer, I always say I want to be a world changer, you know, for the good. You should be able to change. And when I say change, you can't change individual, but you know, you should be able to Become that individual that when somebody looks at you, they say, there goes a wonderful woman. There goes a valiant man. There goes somebody who I admire, I emulate. Because they have been through the trials. They have been through the struggles. They have been through the tribulation, the tribulations. And in spite of, they decided to become the best individual that he or she could ever become. But that's a decision that you have to make. So you can either be like the donkey when the donkey was in the hole and they were throwing sand on the donkey, I guess, I supposedly maybe to bury the donkey. And what the donkey decided to do was they threw it to the left, he moved to the right. If they threw it to the right, he moved to the left. And what they were doing was building, building that kind of a, almost like a podium for the donkey to rise and to rise and to rise, you know? So it's a decision that we make in spite of how hard life will beat at you. When I think of the story of Job, sometimes we're not really going through nothing yet, you know, because to lose all your wealth, to lose your children, to lose your health, my goodness gracious, many persons would have lost their minds and died long ago. And he kept, he held on, you know, and there are probably there are many Jobs around. We don't know of them. And they've chosen and then they've decided to hold on and to keep on. In spite of whatever it is that they may have gone through or what they're going through presently. Because we all have our challenges. You know, whether you want to be rich, whether you want to be not so rich, whether you want to be poor or not so poor. Wherever you may fall on the scale, we all have our challenges. But it is how we decide to deal with our challenges. That is where the cookie crumbles. Because you see... Like the refiner's fire, when they're purifying gold, you said that same gold bracelet or gold watch or that gold chain or gold earring that you wear, you think it's just pretty like that? It has to go through a refiner's fire. So they burn it to burn off the bad elements so that you can get that purified, got that fine gold, 18 carat, 24 carat. I don't know how far the carat gone up to. You know? I don't know how far the carat goes up to. But, you know... And it has to be purified. And if the person who is doing the refining of the gold or whichever precious stone or diamond or emerald it may be, if they put it in and it's still not purified, they have to put it in back again. So it's like our lies. You know, you may have some challenges, you have some weaknesses, you have some things inside. You say, I don't like this side to me, you know, or this needs to shape up. I need some sand down here. So you get the testing. So you're driving on the road and I'm on bad driving. How do you respond to that? You're at work, maybe a coca don't say, doesn't say good morning to you, goodbye, doesn't speak to you. How do you respond to that? How do you respond to not having any money, you know, maybe to buy lunch, to buy gas for your car? How do you respond to not being employed? How do you respond to being ill? How do you respond to all the conflicts that you may face on the road? How do you respond to the life's challenges? You know, those are the purifiers. You know, those are the fire things that come at us. You know, so we, we have the refiners 
Do we have the refiner holding us, putting us in the fire, testing us? And say, all right, she's going to make it. The fire is on her, but she's going to make it. The fire is on him, but he's going to make it. He's not going to give up. He's not going to give in. He's going to hold on. He's going to hold up. He's going to hold out. Because he knows at the end of this tunnel, there is a silver lining. There is something special at the end of the road for you. And that is what you're introspections and your reflections will do for you those are the things that they do for you because once you get to that place of humility that place of peace and knowing who you are and understanding where you are and knowing where it is that you want to go to then you would have now begun the journey of greatness that's how the journey of greatness begins they start with reflections and they start with introspections. Now, some persons may not be religious. That's fine. We all have our choice to make. I'm not one of those kinds of persons who believe in forcing uh, Christianity or so on persons. Each person have each person has his or her, you know, choice to make as the case may be. But when I think on how Christ died for a terrible person like me, uh, I have to do my best, not only to make it into the kingdom of heaven, but to be a world changer or change, to be somebody who at the end of when my road comes, he says to me, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That when I come to the end of the road and somebody is speaking about me, the echoes should be permeating through everyone who attends that service. That this lady was truly a woman of God. And I'm not speaking with any like speaking boastful or speaking you know as though i'm above i'm saying this sincerely that i would want to be a world changer i want to be somebody who makes a difference in a positive way in somebody else's life if i can do it with even one life, it means the world to me. If I can do it in a thousand life, it means the world to me. If I can do it in hundreds of thousands, it means the world to me. You know? But I want to know I'm the kind of individual who makes a positive, positive, positive contribution. Plant a seed of something that is great in somebody else's life. Then I would have accomplished much. I would have accomplished a task a God-given task, a God-given requirement of service to somebody else. So I'm encouraging and I'm imploring all of us to use this Easter to do some serious introspections, reflections, and enjoy the Easter too. Go out. I'm sure that you have some sports days or you're going to the country you go in some function, whatever it may be, enjoy your Easter, of course. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You, you create that balance. I believe in balance. You know? Um, whatever it is that you do, I believe in a balance. So, for this Easter, this Easter, reflect on the Lord Jesus Christ. His death, his burial, his resurrection. And reflect on who you are. Reflect on what it is that you maybe have accomplished, what it is that you want to accomplish even further. Do some introspection. See where you're at. See what needs to kind of get sand down a little bit. See what needs to be changed. And then you would have begun the journey of greatness. You would have then begun the journey of greatness. Because a journey of greatness starts with introspections and reflections.
So, my beautiful people, my handsome people, because I have to say beautiful for the women, handsome for the men, I wish for you a very holy, a very prosperous, a progressive, a happy, enjoyable, peaceful, lovely, wonderful, marvelous Easter and one that will help you to begin your journey of greatness because you are all great people. You all have a purpose on this earth. I don't care what anyone may have said before. You all have a purpose on this earth. You serve a purpose. That is why you are here. That is why you were born. That is why you were created. To make a difference in somebody else's life. To make a difference in the community that you're a part of. To make a difference in the church that you're a part of. In the school that you're a part of. Your workplace. Wherever you may be. You are created to make that difference. You were not just created for frivolous means. Or meaningless means. Baseless means. You are of worth. You are of substance. You are somebody who is blessed, highly favored, confident, bold, creative, talented, have the ability. Some may be anointed for other, yes, um, Makisha. And you are just extraordinary. You are princes, you are kings, you are queens, you are princesses, you are royalty. That's who you are. You weren't created for any frivolous means. I don't care who may have told you that. It don't matter if it is your mother or your father, your husband or your wife, your child or your children, your aunt, your uncle, your nieces, your friends, your neighbors, your and whoever it may be. It matters not. What matters is what you know inside of yourself, what God says about you. That you are royalty. So the journey of your royalty. The journey of your greatness. Begins with reflections. It begins with introspections. It begins with knowing who you are. And accepting who you are. Because you know that you're going to be greater. As the days go by. You know that you have not seen the best you yet. Because the best you is about to burst open. Like a tsunami. Well, a tsunami doesn't burst open, but you know what I mean. You're not the best you yet. And you know that you will accomplish being the best you one day. But it starts with introspections. It starts with reflections. And this can only be accomplished only by you. Only you can make that decision. Only you can make that decision. No one else can make that decision for you. Only you can make that decision in beginning that seed, that journey of greatness. I wish only well for everyone. I wish only well for everyone. I know everyone don't have that kind. Everyone may not have, may not have that kind of heart towards everyone, but I do. And I'm not saying it in any boastful way because I endeavor to do to others what I want somebody to do for me. I would want you to wish me well. I want you to wish greatness for me because I wish greatness for you. So, for this lovely Easter, this precious Easter, this meaningful Easter, I'm encouraging us all to do our introspections, to do the reflections. Write them down. Don't, don't look at it as folly or as something foolish. No, it isn't. Because, you see, when you begin to write them down, when you begin to pen it and you put it up on your vision wall and you look at it every day and you say these are the things I want to um, accomplish in Jesus' name. These are the things that I want God to help me to accomplish and then you start to see the purifier now holding you and putting you into that purification thing or that purifier and then you start to see peace Attaching itself to you, joy attaching itself to you, love attaching itself to you, forgiveness attaching itself to you, compassion attaching itself to you, caringness attaching itself to you, being kind, being generous attaching themselves to you, all these and more attaching themselves to you. 
and your journey of greatness. The seed is growing. You see the tree? It's growing. It is, it is growing. And it is growing. And it is growing. And it is growing. Until it becomes almost like when you're looking at a swan. A beautiful swan. Or when you're seeing that eagle. The wings after he shed all of what he needs to shed and get rid of the old beak because he wants to live on many many more years and then, and then the wings begin to open and he's soaring at altitudes that you can't even imagine then you would have become what it is that you were created to become to be of service to mankind and to serve God with all your heart with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength, with everything inside of you. And in spite of the challenges, you will not give up. And you will forever be grateful to God and you will forever serve God. Let us use this Easter to do some reflections. Let us use this Easter to do some introspection. See where we're at. See what it is that we want to accomplish. It matters not what may have gone before. It matters not what it is that you have done before. None of us are perfect. If our lives were to be exposed to the public world, we'd all laugh. You know why? Because each one would say, oh my God. And I thought I was that bad. I thought I was the worst. And everyone would end up saying the very same thing. So nobody would have anything against anyone. It matters not what you may have done. God will and God can forgive you. You need to forgive yourself. You need to love yourself and accept yourself. Love who you are. Love who I am. I didn't at one point. Because I gave so much trouble. I did that, you know, all over the place. But I've come to accept who I am. I know I'm not at the best me, you know, but I love and I accept who I am. You know? Accept and love who you are. Accept and appreciate who you are because you know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you know that you're not at the best you now. You know that you're not at the best you yet. So can you imagine when you reach your best you now? Oh, God, you're going to be in love with you. Not conceited. Clearly not. That's not what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about that self-love that you're able to emanate and to exude to others. So that they can pass it down from generation to generation, from generations to generations and generations. It is like storing up treasure. That is why it's important to invest and save. And I wish I understood all of those principles. I didn't. Because you just think life is made for living. Yes, it is. But you have to live smart. You know, so that when you save and you invest wisely, you pass that treasure down to your children, grandchildren, great grand, and the, you know, that's why the rich always, their children become, the, you know, take on the riches, grandchildren take it on, and it continues, you know, because they, sow, they, they decided to sow that seed of financial prudence, which many of us still haven't gotten to this day, sadly among the black race, among us. In totality, in general, sorry, not in totality, in general. So my beautiful people, I know I've said this to you before, I can't say it enough because I want you to understand how important you are. I don't know if some of you understand how important you are, how valuable you are. God says if he can feed those birds in the air and the fishes in, in the sea, can you imagine us? Look at how crazy, when you think of how people make cars, airplanes, phones, bags, clothes, shoes, they can sing, they can dance, we can use our intellect and have a good conversation, we can caress, we can create jokes, we can do all of these marvelous things that the animals can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, create movies, do all these beautiful things that we see happening in our world today. So, can you, so do you understand how valuable you are? If you're a mother, if you're a mother and you probably were to ask your son or your daughter, daughters and sons, as the case may be, what do you think of me? And they were to say, mommy, you are the best mother ever. Do you know how valuable you are? If a child can look at a mother, you would have done one of the best things that God has created you to become. If you're a father and you can look at your son or your daughter, daughter's sons, 
and say, what do you think of me, son, or so think of me, daughter? They can say, and they say, you're the best father that the world has ever seen. My God, you're a world changer. For me, you're a world changer. That's who you are. If your wife can say, you are the best husband ever. If the husband can say you're the best wife ever, you are a world changer. If your friends can say, you know, you are the best friend ever. Oh my goodness, you are a world changer. If your co-workers and the people that you interact with every day can say, I admire that woman, I admire that man. You are a world changer. So don't think that people don't look up to you or emulate you, you know. But it is a decision you make if you want somebody to emulate or to look up to you. It's your choice. It is something that you have to decide that you want. You see? So for this Easter, I wish only greatness for you. But you have to plant that seed of greatness and it begins with introspections it begins with reflections and it is something that we all should do as human beings it is something that we all should do as human beings and we should pen and write down what it is that we desire the things we desire put it on our vision wall and every day say Lord let this come to fruition and we work toward it because faith without works is dead we have to work toward it and then you will see all of these wonderful attributes and attitudes just attaching themselves to you and all the bad ones just slowly every day just becoming almost like a fading memory a faded memory sorry may god bless you all richly I wish for you a happy and a whole and a beautiful Easter. Try not to eat too much bun. You know, I put on too much weight. So take time with the bun and cheese and the fish. All right? So have a, an absolutely fabulous evening. And enjoy. Be blessed. No stress in spite of. And may God bless you all richly. Good day.